Hello, this is Abby again with Design Point. In this video, I'm going to be sharing how I created this simple L bracket in SolidWorks. So I'm first going to take a look at the completed product within the design tree and move this far back to take a look at the first feature that I created. So what I first did was created this L shape, this profile, and I extruded it to a certain depth. From there, I added my side holes, then my bottom holes, and lastly, I added a fillet to the inside crease. So let's go ahead and get started with a fresh part template. I'm going to come up here to New, select Part, and say OK. So the first thing we have to do when creating a sketch is specify the plane that we want to be sketching on. Over here on the left, you can see they have front plane, top plane, and right plane. So for this particular instance, I'm going to start with the front plane. I'm going to right click and select sketch. So in here pops up an origin. It is best practice to always have something attached to the origin. So I'm going to start with the line tool, which is in our sketch ribbon here. Starting with the line tool and starting at the origin, I'm going to start to create the L profile that I mentioned in the first step. And I want to make sure that I close that loop. So I head back to the origin. From in here, I can now add dimensions to this because as you'll notice, nothing is uh, set yet. I have to define those things. And you'll also take notice that down here, it says it is underdefined. And we want to keep adding dimensions until it says it is fully defined. So I'm going to come up here to the Smart Dimension tool and start adding in my dimensions. So I'll create a thickness of a quarter of an inch on both sides. I'm going to create a height, and all I'm doing is just selecting these lines. I can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And now I have that L profile. Hit the green check to exit out of that tool. So now that I have this profile, if I rotate holding in the scroll of my mouse, I can see that there's no, there's no depth, there's no 3D assigned to it yet. So what I have to do is come up to my Features menu and select Extruded Boss slash Base. So from here, I can type in a value of how much I want to extrude that. And you can see there's this reverse direction tool so I can flip which side of the sketch that will be extruding on. But in this case, I'm going to hit this drop down and I'm going to say mid plane. So it's going to create equal amounts of extrusion on each side of the sketch. And I'll hit the green check to make that change. All right, so I've got the main profile now. I'm going to start to add the holes. So for the holes, I'm going to start with the side. And I could either add them to this face or to this face. I'm going to add them to this face, so I'm going to right click on the face and select Sketch. So the pattern is you always want to create a sketch and then add your feature. So in this case, I'm going to create a circle. And you'll see if I get close to where the origin lines up, it creates that dotted line for me to let me know that I'm close to the center. Once I do that, I'm going to click on the first circle, hold in the control key on my keyboard, and select the second circle. When I do that, this property window comes up and it'll allow me to add these relations. So the one that I'm going to add is equal. And what that's going to do is make sure that these two circles are always the same size. So now if I come back into my Smart Dimension tool and I assign a dimension to one of these, the other one automatically creates the same size. So now I'm going to go ahead and hold Control on the keyboard again. This time select the center points of the two circles. In addition to the origin point, I get this menu again, and this time I'm going to select vertical. 
So that ensures that these circles are going to stay vertical to that origin. And now you'll notice this still says underdefined and my sketch is still blue. So I still have to add more dimensions to fully define it. So I'll go ahead and add some more dimensions. Notice I'm grabbing the center point of these circles to add these dimensions. And you'll see that once I add these dimensions, down here it tells me that it is fully defined and the sketch turns black, it is no longer blue. So now I'm ready to go ahead and add my feature. So with that, I'll go to my features menu. And this time, rather than creating an extruded boss or base, I'm going to create an extruded cut. So I select that and the option I'm going to choose this time rather than blind is up to next. So what this does is it will cut it up to the next surface that it finds, which is this surface. Hit the green check and they're added. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom face. Right click and select sketch. And I'm going to go through this one a little bit faster since I just went through how to do it on the side there. So I'm creating my circles, holding control, setting them equal. Also going to add the relation horizontal to the origin. Give them a diameter. And finally, add some other dimensions in here to define it. All right, so now my sketch is black, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to do the same thing, create an extruded cut. Set it to up to next. So now it is, you can see in the preview here, it's going to go up to this surface. Hit the green check, and there you go. I'm going to come up to the view cube and just change it to isometric so it looks a little nicer. So the last thing that I need to do is create the fillet on this edge right here. That can be found in the features menu and this right here, fillet. So all I have to do is select the edge and it creates that preview there for me. From here I can type in any value that I want and it'll update that preview. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 0.1 and hit the green check. And there you have it, the L bracket. So just to review, first thing that we did was create that L profile and extrude that out. Next, I did a cut extrude of these two holes as well as these two holes. And lastly, a fillet feature. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.